Welcome, day 15 of our 40 days of personal revival. Good morning. Hey, hope you got your, co your coffee good to go, nice and warmed up. Mine's uh, not quite full. Gonna have to brew a new cup soon. I'll have to have a fresh cup when I watch this video with you. Here in uh, uh, day 15, happy Monday, by the way. Uh, we're looking at uh, Acts chapter 3 in our devotion. And uh, Jesus is already here. Whew, thank you. Peter, in that famous speech at Pentecost, uh, quotes one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. <clears throat> Acts chapter 3, verse 19, he says, Therefore, repent and return, so that your sins may be wiped away, in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord. Yesterday we had an amazing church service. So happy that I get to worship Jesus with amazing people who love his presence. Aren't you happy you don't have to do this thing alone? And we're never alone because we have Holy Spirit with us. And Peter gives us such an amazing insight on how to experience more of God. How to experience, hear me, personal revival. He says, repent and return. It's, it's so easy for us to think we got this whole thing figured out and we move on to other things. You know, my sins have been forgiven. Of course, I'm a saint. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am, right? Like we sing the song. But man, when you live close to Jesus, the Holy Spirit's going to convict you of stuff. Holy Spirit's going to convict you of things. Holy Spirit's going to be knocking on the door of your heart and saying, hey, you're a little too old to be doing that same nonsense. It's a little too long in your walk to still have these attitudes, to still have these ways of thinking, to still, it's time to grow up and grow into the greater things of God. And Peter, there's such an amazing promise in this scripture that if we keep our heart open to Holy Spirit and we keep repentance close at hand and we continually allow Holy Spirit to cleanse our heart, we may experience times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord. And that's what we need. We need a refreshing of the Holy Spirit. We need His washing over us with His waves of grace and His waves of glory. Today on this Monday morning, where so many people are dreading going back to work, today is my sermon preparation day, and uh, we can just think of all the task list. And I tell you what, times of refreshing are what you and I need. And so I pray today that as we keep short accounts with God, that we may experience times of refreshing. I pray that upon you and your family, in Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow morning.